it's, it takes Jesus dying for us and us understanding that we're being forgiveness through that act from Jesus that then changes it to white, being white as snow. And it's like us having a new life, a fresh start. And she felt that joy, um, the joy of no longer being seen for her sin. Um, that's what brought her to Jesus' feet. And in verse 41 to 42, Jesus starts to speak of death. And um, that people owe. And that's all of us, you know, our sin is death. And there's nothing that we can do to give more grace, more mercy, more love, or more favor from God. Um, he freely gave us uh, freedom. Not freedom. Well, freedom, yes, but forgiveness. He was freely gave it and he was ready and willing to do it. Yeah. And this applies to everyone, right? Because in Isaiah 118 it says, Come now, let us settle the matter. So we all have to come before God and settle the matter with Him. And for me, the hardest thing I had to work through becoming a Christian was um, the day that I, like, the. <laughs> Come on. You know, I'm trying to look back at life and be like, man, I'm really, truly grateful. But, um, you know, I had an abortion, and it was the hardest thing to do. And I remember that day so clearly. Come on. Um, I remember, like, I went to the doctor and was like, oh, there's something wrong with me. I thought it was, like, dairy. <laughs> I was, like, not even, you know, veg um, cheese and stuff like that, dairy products and meat. So I'm like, maybe that's why. And I learned that I was, like, pregnant. And I, I remember feeling numb, so I wasn't like, I didn't feel anything, and I think that was the moment that I realized, I'm like, wow, something's really wrong, because I don't feel anything. Um, and I remember I went back, and I told my boyfriend at the time, he was like, silent. And that was like the worst moment of my life. You know, you don't want to tell somebody something like that, for them to be silent. And at that moment, I felt so small, and just so alone, and just uh, really hurt. And it just justified my reason for getting an abortion, right? And I thought, well, this is natural. I'm going to get the abortion, like, this is something normal. Come on, Come on. Okay. Come on. Sorry. <laughs> but for me, in my situation, that wasn't normal. <laughs> that wasn't natural. It wasn't like any strange situation that I've been in. Just a decision that I decided to make. And it was a decision to kill an innocent life, right? Um, so yeah, I felt a lot of guilt, a lot of brokenness about it, a lot of anger, a lot of disappointment, a lot of questioning of like why. Um, but it was at this point. <coughs> sorry, I wasn't expecting to cry. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Um, but yeah, it was at this point that I like um, I realized the things I was like in with wasn't wasn't helping me. Like you know, I was working, I had a good job, but that wasn't helping me. I was going back to get my master's, but that wasn't bringing joy or happiness. It was just ways to distract me. And it wasn't until I encountered Jesus that I learned about his love for me. And it's cool because in verse 47, 44 to 47, it talks. He's talking to Simon, but he's looking at this woman. And he's like looking her in her eyes. He's telling her the beauty of her gratitude and her actions. And it just reminds me of Hosea 2.14, which is like one of my favorite scriptures. He says, Jesus is talking about Israel, but he's using it in the form of a woman. He says, I will lure her into the wilderness and talk tenderly to her. And I can just see Jesus being so tender to her, just really loving her. Like, you are beautiful, despite of what she's done. Mm -hmm. And um, then he says to her, like, you know, here's I forgive. Sorry. Uh, and then he looked at her and he's like, you know, you're, I forgive you of your sins. Like, your faith has saved you. Look at her believing in Jesus and the fact that he was raised from the dead in three days. Um, and the fact that he was dying for her, that saved her. Um, and it's like knowing that, and that in her head and her mind, that she was a new person before him, that she wasn't the sinner that signed the call her. You know, she was this new person before him. And um, so Jesus saw her for who she was before him and not who she used to be. He didn't see her then. Um, she was white as snow. No, I don't know if that can happen. <laughs> 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 no, he was like, um, And he loved her deeply, and he loved me deeply. He loved everyone here deeply. And that's why he sent his son to die for what God sent his son to die for. And he was willing to die for us. Um, and so, to me, this was like the best thing to read in the Bible, one of the best things, just yeah. to see how Jesus willing to give up his life for us and how much we should respond to him and be grateful for it and really acknowledge how far God has taken us and willing to take us. 
Um, he gives us a place to lay our troubles down right at the feet of Jesus. And, um, this is offered freely to everyone. This is something he's willing to give. And it says in Isaiah 1.18, come let us settle the matter. So I just urge you, settle the matter. Come to Jesus. And um, this is what the cross means to me. Just to set your chance up. Come on.